Oh, hi. Max. Hey. I came by to thank you for your generosity towards my patient. You, you can thank me by sticking with Robin. When Robin came here last night she, uh, to talk to me about April Gilbert, among other things. Did Robin ask you to pay for April's medical bills? No, no, that was a gesture for an old friend. I don't know if Robin told you about Stone Cates. He was a good friend of mine. Yeah, you built the hospital wing in his honor. Yeah, I took him under my roof, gave him a job. Um, he was a great guy. Robin loved him very much. She stood by him while, while he died, and uh, we'll always have that bond. His birthday's in a couple of days. Oh. Thanks for letting me know. Robin, Robin is a very kind, amazing, strong person, as you probably know. I agree. She's going through a lot, whether she wants to admit it or not. You've been exposed to HIV, and um, you got a, a patient now who who's, has AIDS. I would say it's probably bringing up a lot of, a lot of memories for Robin about how Stone died, and uh, no matter how strong she seems, she carries a lot of pain with her. I know. And I admire her for it. More every day. So how's everything? Mm. Everything's fine. And Patrick? You do not waste any time, oh, do you? I just want to know that everything's all right, that's all. Everything's fine. He's still on the antiretroviral protocol, mm -hmm. and he's handling everything very well. Good. Yes. And? And he is still struggling with the possibility of being infected with HIV, but he's managing to get on with his life. Anything else? <sighs> Anything else? Um, I don't know. Um... Sure. I, you know, watching him go through this is helping me in more ways than I could have imagined. Uh, for a guy with a normally non-existent bedside matter, he, he's being very, very good with our patient April. Great. That's wonderful, isn't it? Isn't it? It's wonderful. And yeah. I am so glad that I could share these personal thoughts and feelings with you, Mom. But I believe it's time for me to get back to work. No, 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 oh, Robin, I'm not crying. Oh, please, let me just throw me a bone, couldn't you? I mean, come on. Okay, fine. Okay. We had a really great night last night. Did you? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, great. Did you go out? Did you stay in? Did you we do? went out, we stayed in, did a little both. We enjoyed okay. each other's company. Uh, things are good. What do you mean, things are good? Wow. Look at the time. Ugh. I must be going. No, Robin, I mean, are you going out with him tonight? I, I'm, are no. you going to see him? I'll see you. Well, say hi to him for me. Hi, Dr. Drake. Mr. Vane. Yeah, oh, call me Anna. You want to sit down? Yeah. Um, well, <clears throat> we have a very important person in common, don't we? So this is about Robin. No, I just thought we should talk. Uh, thank you for making time. I know you have a busy schedule. Well, thanks for the invitation. Yeah. Robin speaks so highly of you. I'm glad to get to know you better. Yeah. Um, do you want to tell me some of the reasons that you think you're worthy of my daughter? Hey. You're quite charming, aren't you? <laughs> Robin would say I'd like to think so. Yeah. I'm sorry, you know, putting you on the spot about my daughter. Are you just being a concerned parent? I think I'm overly concerned, actually. No. Well, I've heard some stories about you. Yeah. I used to pride myself on being a ladies' man. Things have changed. Yeah? I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I'm, I'm very impressed by the way that you handle being exposed to HIV. You know, the mere fact that you insisted on operating on that girl and then you continued even after you were stuck with the needle. I mean, that's it's admirable. It's, it's, it's heroic, actually. But. But. Uh, yeah, it's been my experience with heroes that they might triumph in the face of adversity, but that doesn't necessarily save them when it comes to making a relationship work. You know, you could be the bravest man in the world, but 
impossible to live with. I would say that's accurate. Mm. Yeah. I mean, take Robin's father, for example. He's an arrogant, self-centered narcissist, a uh, compulsive <laughs> womanizer. I'm not suggesting that... Do those traits describe you, would you say? Mother? Hi. Then tell me you were meeting with Patrick. Cool. We're just no, having a conversation. conversation. I mean, don't encourage her. I need to talk to you now. Well, we're privately. Just, we're, we're Please. In the middle of a conversation. Look, I was just about to go. You were? <laughs> nice meeting you, Mr. Vane. Yeah, likewise. And I'll see you at the hospital. Sure. Oh, he's what so are cute. you doing? He's cute. He's in love with you. Did no, you, yes. in did no, you no, see no, the no. way he was no. looking at you? No, he is not in love with me. Okay, uh -huh. he barely admit that, you know, maybe sometime in the future, if he feels like it, he could fall in love with me. Yeah, well, that's because he already has. Okay, if Patrick were ever to get to a place where he wants to declare his feelings, whatever they might be, I would want him to get there because he actually feels it, not because he was bullied, harangued, or otherwise pressured by my well-intentioned, but interfering mother so you think he loves you too i apologize for my mother there's no need to are you kidding me she was interrogating you she was practically twisting your arm until you admitted that you were going to be devoted to me for the rest of your days just so you know i do not well, consider that acceptable very much and i love her very much she's pretty amazing Sometimes a little too amazing. She's like superwoman or something, and I'm anything but. Well, I disagree. Oh, come on. You've got to admit that I am completely different than my mother. Well, on the surface, yes, there's the accent, the whole spy versus doctor thing, but in other ways, you're very much alike. Very much alike? <laughs> How? You're both beautiful, strong. Your intelligence is wickedly attractive. 